Hello everyone and welcome to this video. I'm super excited to showcase some of the latest creations that I have coming. You may have been wondering where I was because I've not been making regular videos, but rest assured I've been super busy. Busy with making creations, busy with real life, all kinds of stuff. It's always a struggle, it's always a balance, but I think that you will enjoy what I'm going to show you here. So I've been working very hard with Sheppy5. He's the admin on my Discord server, and him and I have been kind of playing with ideas back and forth, what sort of things we can make. And one of them has been to make sort of a dock or marina or a lifeboat station. And while some of that is going to yet be yet to come, I do want to show you the dock and marina. Now, it is intended for recreational use, so it's not just a facility that is made for OMA use. It's made for everybody to enjoy the wonders of boating. And there will be several of these throughout the map. These are simple facilities, but they have several key aspects. The lights you see are off currently, but they turn on automatically at nighttime so as to reduce the lag. There is a gas station, a charging station, and a repair station. So we're going to go through these parts. Just keep in mind that this is not in its final phase or final stage, so there still is going to be some changes that you'll notice, but this is the gist of it. So you take the driveway to the place, you get a nice little burger shack or burger stand, over here there's parking and sort of a viewpoint or vantage point that overlooks the waterfront with some seating. Of course we have a ramp with a part that is submerged underwater so it's going to make backing up trailers very easy. We get a little boat washing station here and other than that, that is the parking lot section of this. Now if we make our way to the dock station, you can see that there's little berths here for smaller craft and then a dock here for a bit bigger craft such as this yacht and then over here we have a mooring buoy which is actually where larger ships can tie off and um, sort of be in deeper water where they can safely be and we do have a little boathouse here inside the boathouse is some um, underwater equipment and things like that as well as a little counter where you can kind of get service. We do have a functioning gas station and charging station. So that's over here. And last but not least, on this side here, we have a little repair station with a garage. So as we are here in this truck, I will showcase to you some of the latest creations, upcoming creations and other things. So right away, you may notice that this trailer currently does not exist on the workbench or on the workshop. It will soon. It is a joint effort between Sheppy and myself. And I'm going to show you how it works. So we put the dually in the gear. And we are carrying on the back of this trailer the latest rib. It is the extended version, and I'll show what the uh, non-extended versions look like. But pretty much, if you can avoid hitting the parked cars here, you can maneuver yourself in a way that you can actually back up onto this um, dock, or ramp rather. And once you're backed up onto the ramp, it should make deploying the rib that much easier. Now it is a wide ramp if you're not great with backing up. I'm pretty good in real life, but here in the video game, not using a steering wheel, not as counterintuitive for me at least, but actually this should be fine. I think you just have to line the truck properly. So we go down the ramp and obviously different sections of the map have different depths. So you definitely don't want to ride your trailer off the edge of the ramp but you can for sure back it up until the water or until the wheels are near that yellow line. So now we just put it into park and hop on out. Now this trailer is awesome. It is again, a joint effort between Sheppy and myself. And in this case, you don't need to use the functionality, but actually it comes with an extra feature where actually you can kind of dump out the boat so if you are not on a ramp, if you find yourself in an area where 
it's actually flat ground, you can use that to dump out the boat. But in this case, we'll just disconnect our connector here. And the rib just sort of slides right out. Now we can facilitate it by turning on the reverse. And of course, if you do disconnect yourself from sliding track, the rear of the boat will actually come up. It's only because we were attached to that sliding track that this was sort of happening. So now that we're free of the trailer, we can put the boat in to forward gear and make our way to one of these slips. Now, hopefully everybody has seen this uh, rib and is aware of my creation, my latest creation. I did showcase this in other videos, but I am really proud of this display. And I did actually do a little bit more adjustments and touching up some of the other details. But here, if we grab the rope, we can actually tie off to this pier or little dock and turn off the engine. So there you have it. Now, I did skip some of the stuff, but first things first, we can run back to our truck and make sure that we park it in the spot. So we take it here and that's where these kind of long parking stalls come into play. So not the best park job, but good enough. Actually, let's be perfectionist. There we go. So that's good. Turn off the truck and head over to the marina. So as you could see here, we got trailer parking and the ramp. So that is kind of fully utilizing the parking area section of this creation. Now, if we head over here, these are purely decorative little kind of rowboats or boats. Over here, we do have a little restaurant. Of course, you could turn on the burners and stuff, but really it's just intended for kind of a place to regroup. If you're playing online, you can sit here and sort of enjoy the sights. Likewise here. Now, what I was saying about the automatic lights, if I do turn it to be an early hour, all these lights actually turn on by themselves. So if you are ever here at nighttime for some night boating, you will have nice illumination. And that goes everywhere, all along the dock. Over there, that one flashes always. And there's a spotlight that illuminates the ramp itself. So even at nighttime, you could still have a good um, visual of what you're doing. So we have a light or a spotlight illuminating the ramp and the um, gas station area. Now you also could manually turn on all the lights on the facility. You don't have to go into nighttime, but if you go here behind the counter, you can actually turn on the facility lights and that will be illuminating everything. Now, because it is multiple sections or multiple parts of the add-on, these ones are communicating with the mother station or base with a radio. So that is a fun little fact. So down here, when you climb onto the actual dock part we have these kind of rope lockers throughout so there's three rope lockers where you can find little rope to tie up your your creations so in this case actually this one hasn't been tied off so there you have it now again work in progress i may see to uh either have these things either have the whole marina sit lower in the water so you don't get, end up kind of underneath like this or maybe I'll put a little rail or something beneath it but something so your boats don't end up just uh doing this this is less than ideal I mean I don't want have to have um creations that are not um that are getting destroyed by this so moving on to the next bit here so you get a couple of these slips we have the boathouse. Now we have a we had a quick little look into it, but you do have this to fill the gear. So if you do put on your diving gear, it actually can be charged up here. And you do have a little workstation. You can also disable the automatic lights or have them permanently on. I see that it's missing a seat here. So if you want to sit here and role play a person that's going to be selling you maybe some equipment. We've got some tubes for tubing around here. And there's a little shed actually with more equipment 
So just a very simple amount of things. Back here we have some trash bins and more rope and a pallet. Now you can actually access your fuel depot here, but the way this works in theory, or in theory and in practice, is you come up with your little rib. Now note that this is the non-extended version of the one that I drove from the trailer. So this is a standing configuration or Y configuration of the 9 series. It is faster than the extended version and it is more maneuverable. So you'll find this one on a lot of the vehicles that have kind of uh, a rib. You'll find this one. It's the, the Y configuration or the 9Y. So you come up here and then once you're fully stopped, you can see that we're stopping here by holding S, you can actually jump over here and attach and toggle, oh, that I have to rename, and there. So now we are filling the gas, or filling the diesel. So there may be use to put a ladder here actually, but anyways, it's fully done. We turn off the pump, and you also could charge up your, your boat. Now we can put it into reverse and back up into a slip after having done that. And interesting enough, well, on purpose, is the other configuration here. So, if we stop the rib, this is the Y configuration that we're just getting out of. And this, over here, is the Z configuration. So the Z configuration is with a seat. There's also less seating in general in it. And the idea is that this one is intended for being the speediest or kind of like the sport version so not only do you have a seat you also have less seating for passengers and this one is or should be the fastest so i think it can reach 40 knots here fairly quickly and fairly stable with being stable as well it does have the radar but it does not have the spotlights so you'll notice the y configuration which is the standing configuration and the X configuration, which is the extended configuration, have um, spotlights. This one does not have spotlights. This one just has the radar on top. But it still is quite fun to drive and useful for more um, luxury type of things such as the yacht. So this is the configuration that you may find on the back of the yacht, whereas the standing configuration is the one you'll find probably on a workship. So those are the three configurations of the ribs and actually I will have um, more videos or more uh, creations coming so there's going to be but that's the nine series so that is probably the smallest that I'm going to make but there may be other series or other configurations that I may uh, make in the future. The 12 series, the 13, I'm going to try to redo all of the um, previously made ribs that I've had, actually, with the same configuration. And if you didn't catch in my last video or other videos, what I mean by that are the, um, the ribs themselves are all sort of modular in a sense that they all have connectors in the same locations so even though we started off the trailer with the extended version i actually could and will take the non-extended version and attach it to the trailer and it'll work just the same because it has the connectors all in the same place and it has the um it has the sliding track also in the same place so I'm going to try to make it a uniform system moving forward where all the ribs have it more or less in the same place. Now I don't know if it's always going to be possible, but regardless it will be something that I'm going to strive for. At least maybe make a majority of the configurations um, accept this type of connections and accept this type of trailer. So we have to take this cable out of the trailer and an easy way if you don't want to ram the boat right up you can actually connect it with your cable to this winch and in the water here if I could find it you can actually winch up or winch in and it'll automatically drag your rib into place 
Now you don't have to go too too far because that connector is right there. So we're going to actually turn off the connector and there you go, it attached itself. Now one thing that, the reason it glitched out like that is because the uh, sliding track was also on. So we kind of had a bit of a glitch there. But if we hop into the truck and try to drive it away from this, you'll see that the boat is properly on. And in addition to that, once it's out of the water, we can actually turn on that sliding track and it will properly be attached. Now the thing with this rib, because it is shorter, you do have kind of a gap in the front, but regardless, you are able to tow all of them with this single trailer configuration, which I think is quite useful and nice. And um, there you have it. So that is, in essence, this facility. It is. Um, it was a fun little build and a very useful build because I do think that with the map being so broad, there isn't a lot of, there aren't a lot of facilities that you can kind of interact with and use. And especially if you want to do recreational boating with your truck and trailer and rib and stuff, it is nice to have the ability to, um, to lower or deploy a boat. Now I did note a couple of errors, such as these stairs to nowhere and stuff like that. So. I will continue working on this creation, of course, but um, I just wanted to showcase to everybody sort of what Sheppy and I have been working on and what type of thing will be soon to come. So, hopefully you enjoyed the creation, hopefully you enjoyed the video, stay tuned for more videos, stay tuned for more creations, more content, we got all kinds of... Um, build challenges happening on my discord server as well that are being run by my awesome team of administrators and moderators and volunteers so i do think that we should all give them a huge thank you for the effort they're doing and i will catch you all later in another video and in stormworks so thank you all for watching stay tuned for more and as always happy stormworksing